One of the main revelations of my life in recent times is that uh, I am gay. Uh, I have to say, I had no idea. Uh, but the guy who told me seemed pretty sure. <laughs> there, uh, this is an exact incident. There were four of them. And uh, they were in a small car parked at the lights. A small car with the stereo system of a medium-sized nightclub. <laughs> okay, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. It sounds like a fat man being beaten with a pumpkin. <laughs> And uh, I, was, I was merrily walking by, and their leader leaned out the window, and he went, uh, you with the hair, uh, to separate me from anyone else who could have been in the city at the time. And I looked over, and he went, you're fucking gay. And the car sped off at high speed. And I was left there, you know, to consider that. I've been living a lie for the last 29 years. <laughs> I love the specific of it, the, the you with the hair, you're gay. Like, hair is the necessary criterion of gayness. <laughs> By that, ZZ Top are the gayest band ever. <laughs> I, I, it's not just that, but it's partly that. I have something of a bitterness towards the custom car thing. I mean, it just seems so pointless, so vain to waste your time buying crappy accessories for crappy cars. You know, like tinting your windows as if the paparazzi give a fuck. As if you're going to pick up Jennifer Lopez one night and she's going to go, ooh, take me for a spin in your 1998 Citroen Saxo. <laughs> ooh, I want to reverse at high speed backwards round a car park in the middle of the night. Ooh, so sophisticated. <laughs> with the registration and calligraphic writing because the car is actually medieval. <laughs> you know, if anonymity is really what you're after with the tinting of the windows, it might be a good idea not to have macker written in gold writing across the back windscreen. I have to say, uh, uh, the worst one of the custom jobs is the, uh, is the blue lights beneath the chassis. Uh, the point of that, you know, in case you have a problem with, with junkies shooting up in your, in your wheel arches. Uh, I, think, I think legitimately, uh, if, you, if you see someone with, with that uh, custom effect, you can just go up to the window and knock on it and go, uh, hello, excuse me, I think your gearbox could be haunted. <laughs> I got my first car not so long ago. I got a, a quite a small car. I got the only car I could afford with insurance the way it is. My friends uh, make fun of me. My friend Oshin said, it's the sort of car you don't need a license to drive. You need a letter from your parents. <laughs> so to try and, I don't know, get, give it a bit of a rep, uh, I have tried to write a song in the 